It is time for the Turner Construction lightning round. And, of course, we've been talking about Turner Construction um, throughout the show and our interview with Corey Taylor. And, and we invite all of you to uh, uh, to keep Turner Construction in mind anytime you're thinking about uh, starting a project. And, and the earlier you talk to them, the better, so that they can help you with the planning and getting everything ready for uh, the big day when construction starts. Well, let's get into it. A lot of things on the list uh, this week. First of all, uh, we start with um, uh, Noli's Pizzeria has opened its new location at 6307 Center Street. That's in a space that at one time was the Blue Planet Natural Grill. It's west of Jimmy D's in the Exarban area. That's a nice size place. Pretty Yeah, pretty nice size. I don't have the square footage in front of me, but uh, I would agree with that assessment. Culver's is opening a new location Tuesday, Tuesday, December 19th at 171st and West Maple Road. That's in the Whispering Ridge subdivision. And now, Trenton, we got to talk about um, local restaurants. Everyone loves talking about local restaurants. And there is a new one coming to North Downtown, Dolomiti Pizzeria and Enoteca. It plans to open in the Ashton Building. The exact address is 1125 North 13th Street. That's in North Downtown's Millwork Commons District. Dolomiti will have wood-fired pizzas, seasonal salads, cheese, uh, paninis, sandwiches, wine, lots of wine. Um, another, you know, nice local restaurant creation. And and the things in that Ashton Building are really impressive. There are a yeah. lot of cool businesses in the Ashton. Flower. Cone flowers I'm there. I'm guessing this is uh, farm to pizza. Oh, uh, farm, farm to pizza. That would be farm to If you think about it, everything is farm to table. Farm like, to fork. Like, far, or farm to table, really? Farm to pizza stone, cooking stone. I'm sure it's very, very good. And they got cross strain brewing there. They've got a healthy oh, yeah. restaurant in Great there. Great coffee shop. Um, the Sweet Magnolias Bakery is in there. Then a lot of businesses um, uh, that have offices there or other retail locations. If you have not gone through that Ashton building in North downtown, go out of your way and, and check it out. Cause it's a pretty, pretty cool place. So construction has gone vertical on a second burger detour restaurant building before the first burger detour even opens. So this is a locally owned concept burger detours, first location opening what appears to be fairly soon. Cause it, it looks like they're doing some finishing work inside That's at 183rd and Maple, but the second building that is uh, now kind of up and partially to mostly enclosed is on the southeast corner of 204th and Pacific. Interesting that a a new fast food concept is is building the first one before the first one's even done. I'm told that it's going to try to emulate... um in and out Burger, which a lot of people know the the famous in and out Burger, where always fresh, never frozen. And um, but the thing about in and out Burger, I just had it in Vegas, is you got to eat those fries within about four minutes. Don't wait. Uh, yeah, yeah, they get a little they're, waxy. They're not nearly as good. But, ten uh, minutes old. So it's it's a new entrance. You know, let's let's give it a shot and, and see how it goes. You know, speaking of in and out Burger, it's amazing how much they've been spreading around the country lately. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, they're all over Texas now. They're in Colorado. It's a privately owned company, and there's a lady. Uh, one of the nieces of the founders or grand nieces or something like that. And um, they've had some tragedies in that Schneider family. And so this gal inherited this whole thing. Getting closer. Who knows? Yeah. Someday, maybe. The winery located just east of West Roads in Clock Tower Village has changed its name to the winery in Delhi. This business started in 1986, closed in 2019. New open, new owners opened it about a year ago. And um, now that they're hitting their one-year anniversary, they're going to have a ribbon cutting to celebrate that anniversary on December 19th. Got a new hair salon known as Pure Salon. Uh, that's going to open up next summer at 1404 North 203rd Street. And then our friends at Lockwood Development reported this week that um, their their Antler View development project that will include a Starbucks and a Chipotle Mexican Grill getting very close to opening. Uh, this would be at 186th and West Maple Road. The Starbucks and the Chipotle will open in January. And they're the folks behind Crossroads redevelopment. And, and the horizontal development is pretty much done. So we're just waiting to see 
vertical over the next couple of years. Yeah, Joe Finley uh, with NP Dodge writes our uh, nov- our, our uh, real I could should say re- or rather our residential real estate report for the Gromaha newsletter. Um, interesting couple of statistics. Um, the median sale price for existing homes in Douglas County in November, $275,000. That's up 6% compared to the same time last year. And then Douglas County new construction home price, $435,000 now. I'm impressed with two seventy-five. I thought it was going to be higher. Yeah, Omaha was famous for such low-cost housing, and it is compared to a lot of metro areas, but definitely have been some some increases. Sarpy County, existing home construction, 305000 new home construction, 430000 If you like this video, be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons. And remember, Grow Omaha is not just media. This is a mission. We are trying to build up Omaha and make it an even better place. We can only do that with your help. Share this video with your friends, neighbors, and family.